In this video, I'm going to step you through creating a new project with Field Genius. When you first start the program, you'll be taken to the Project Manager. And from here, we're going to click the New Project button. It asks us to enter a project name. Let's call it New. And then we're taken to this Review Project screen. So here we're shown the AutoMap library. If you um, have your own custom library, you can select it here. Or down at the bottom, you can press the advanced options to toggle back and forth between the advanced and basic options. So if the advanced options is turned on, you also see the raw file. Um, if you want to create a new raw file, for example, if you're revisiting a, an older project and you want to start recording in a new raw file, you can click the new button to do that. And you can also specify a feature list file if you're using uh, the attributes or uh, specify a DXF or an XML file to import. I'm just going to press continue here. And now we're going to specify your unit settings. So you can tell it whether you want meters, international or US feet. I'll take meters and you can also provide the precision, the number of decimals. Also if you're working with feet there's a format option here either decimal feet or fractional feet, which would be um, feet and uh, fractional inches, or decimal feet. The angle unit, you can also specify whether you're working in degrees, uh, gradients or radians. Typically, it'll be degrees. The format, whether you're decimal seconds, decimal minutes, or decimal degrees. I'll take degrees, minutes, seconds, and specify the number of decimals you want on the second value. I'm just going to pick one decimal, which will give us one decimal place in the seconds value. Direction format, choose uh, azimuth or bearings, and you can put in a scale factor and uh, the curvature if you want to use those. You can save these as your default once you get them set up to uh, how you'll typically be working just by clicking Save as default settings. It tells us they've been saved. And we'll click OK. So it asks if we'd like to define a coordinate system. This is going to be for if you're working with uh, GPS or if you're doing any sort of uh, transformations or coordinate calculations. Um, if you are, then make sure to press yes to define your coordinate system. Uh, otherwise, you could press no. I'll click yes here to show you the next screen. So we'll specify our zone here where we are in British Columbia. It's uh, UTM zone 11. And whether you're ellipsoidal or one of the other vertical systems. Again, you can save the default settings. And we'll press OK. Next asks us if we want to create a new point. If we click yes, it will bring you to the store point screen. The uh, coordinates that it has here are from the uh, msurvey.ini file. So if you change these to a different value, for example, 5,000, 5,000 IP, then the next time that we go through this routine, this wizard will start with these particular coordinates. And it asks if we'd like to set up at the new point. You can press yes. And if you want to start communication with your total station, you could press yes again. I'm not hooked up to an instrument, so I'm going to click no. And it tells me that I can't uh, occupy the point, of course. I'll just click continue. And we're taken to the map screen where you can see the one point that we created. So that's how you can begin your project.